Hey y'all, Redneck Reads Ready. How y'all doing today? Alrighty, so uh, I'm gonna get right into it. Oh, pardon me. That ain't good. Alright, y'all. Got one here called a sort of an I don't work here lady by Hazardous Ed. I was at the mall and I turned around the corner in the food section. I saw a woman walking in front of me. She had a toilet paper tail hanging out of the back of her jeans. I decided to be a decent human being for once and called out to her. Me, excuse me, woman, immediately. Just right off the bat. I don't work here. Okay, but she cuts me off, raising her voice. Are you deaf? I don't work here. Me, okay. She turned away in a huff and walked away. A few people had turned to look at us when she raised her voice, and they saw her tail as she walked by. Some started get to giggle. She turned around angler, angrily to see me snickering and the people giggling. Somehow caught sight of the tail, she quickly pulled it off and ran away, or walked, ran away, while her face turned flaming red. Yeah, ain't that about the way it goes? You tried? That's one of the comments down here is Queen of Caffeine 76. Hey, good year. Um, you tried? Yep. You tried! Oh, man. That's awesome. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, I'm going to see what this one is. Um, if it'll load. Okay, Found Stress Relief by Hades Bones. So this happened over a decade ago, but it opened the door for a great stress reliever. I used to work for Blockbuster Video back when they had stores. Their uniform looked a lot like other companies. Blue polo, tan khaki pants, and a small logo on the left breast. Easy to miss. As many jobs go there, as many jobs go there, always hectic days and times. And, and at the time, I was working a 10 to 12 hours a day due to incompetent staff. So on one of those days after work, I decided to go to the Best Buy down the street as I'd recently got paid and wanted to look for a new movie or series to take home. As I'm carefully going through the movie genre sections, looking for my bounty while I'm drowning out the lively spunts around me, this included missing out on a gentleman standing next to me who must have been asking a question. I figured he may have been Nicely asking for before because by the time I realized his existence, he was now talking at me. The deadpan, emotionless look on my face further, furthering, angering him. I had to paraphrase as I paraphrase as I like as like I mentioned, this was a very long time ago. Man, you need to get this item from the back right now. You were ignoring me. Don't make me call the manager. B, you'll be waiting a long time. Also, I'm not allowed back here. Find someone else that's better suited. Excuse you, I will be talking to your manager immediately. This isn't a job for people like you. Me, so you notice, huh? Tell you what, go right ahead. I'm sure he would love to hear your opinions. When you get back, you can still wait. He missed, I knew he mistook me for an employee. That I've been facing him the entire time with the logo with my shirt in clear view. This is just fun for me at this point. I bet my manager would have loved the conversation too. The man calls out to an actual employee walking by who jogs over. This person needs to be fired. He did, he is me. Yes. I cut him off. Yes. I demand you call my manager and f tell him to fire me for, for my, tell him of my insubordination immediately. The staff member is trying not to laugh as he is realizing the event in front of him <laughs> as the man is seething. 
I shouldn't be working here since I'm employed by Blockbuster and Best Buy doesn't sign my checks. We both stare at him. He looks like all the blood in his body drained in a second. I smile at the employee and tell him that the gentleman would like something and I'm sure he will be much more courteous going forward. I looked at him directly and thanked him for the lovely experience and they look forward to him stopping by Blockbuster sometime. From that day on, on my cruddy days, I would go into businesses with uniforms matching mine and wait for someone to mistake me so I could unleash all my pent-up aggression and dish, dished out to me when I worked retail. Because I don't work there. Enjoy the fun. Okay. Yeah. That's just... That's just awesome, Air Bones. Awesome. <laughs> please. Please call my manager. Tell him of my insubordination. Oh. Okay, and one more quick one here. Okay. I've worked all day. Dumb putts. That is by dumb putts. <laughs> I've worked all day, eight hours at a popular chicken restaurant. So being tired, go home, discuss my family about where to eat dinner. We can't decide on over expensive buffet re restaurant place or the little bitty bell place for tacos. I fall asleep. I wake up when we decide to go to the famous local mom and pop pizza place. Kids go play and I go over to see. A lady asks me if she can have a box. I think I recognize her from work. She sees me and asks for a box. I'm wearing a state-sponsored technical college shirt. Sure, you can have a box. I don't work here, though. I work at, I work at the three-letter place. Laws. She said, sorry, I thought you worked here and scurried off to get her box. Eh. Yeah, the one comment down here is, uh, at least there's an excuse for her. She knew you were a restaurant worker. She just lost what track of what restaurant she worked at. People that really don't track well. You responded politely. And I'm glad she folded somewhat politely. Yeah. That's kind of wholesome. Yeah, sure. I can't do it, but yeah. Okay, I'm loving the username on this one. And y'all, the way I pick these is I just kind of go down the list. Um... Seeing ones that I haven't seen before, uh, ones that I haven't read, and I try to read these live to you. And uh, I'm right here on the main screen, and it pulls, and I see, I don't work in the gas station, buy a Fantastic Fruit Bowl. I'm sorry, but Fantastic Fruit Bowl, this just has to be read. Fantastic Fruit Bowl. I don't work in the gas station. This isn't very exciting, but I mean, how can you be so dense? I'm a firefighter. Our uniform is blue t-shirts, blue pants, black boots. Our shirts, sweatshirts, and hats have the words fire department in big letters. This is relevant. I was on my way to a scheduled mass casualty drill in uniform when I stopped in the gas station to pick up a Coke and a burrito. Oh, you're leaving, living dangerously, Fruit Bowl. Gas station burritos, living dangerously. The uniform of the gas station staff is t-shirts with their logo all over it in either red or black. I was making a bee line towards a sugary, caffeinated goodness when his lady stopped me and asked for help. Of course, I am a walking billboard, so I have to stop and see what she needed. We frequently get asked questions about roads, traffic, local managed fires, health questions, etc. She started asking if we stocked little travel-sized Kleenex and where she might find them. I told her that I didn't work for the gas station and I was sorry as I couldn't be of assistance. The lady then took a look at my hat and was prompt promptly embarrassed. 
she stumbled through an apology and explained that they had been on the road for a while. She was very polite and abashed. Oh, they... Yeah, if the whole station stopped for got a soda and a burrito, it wouldn't be an MC drill anymore. It'd be a serious hazmat incident. Oh, me. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving some of these comments. Oh, it has happened. This is free ball. Oh, it has happened. You get the new guy cooking sometimes and the whole station has an, has an IV party. Oh, that's just great. And this guy here was like, at first, I didn't understand why the mass, why the understand, understand the scheduled mass casualty drill part. I was like, why in the actual frack would someone stop for a drink of strength? That's not, ah, God, it's late. Why would we stop for a drink and a burrito when there's a mass casualty going on? <laughs> This guy, guys, and everybody's was like, you got to carve up before you save lives. All right, y'all. Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to call this one. Oh, probably this I don't work in the gas station. It's probably what this one right here is going to get called. Burritos. I like a taco myself. But burritos. Okay. Yep, y'all, it is. Wow. Yeah, it is time for me to lay down and get some sleep. Badly. All right, I will catch y'all later. If you've enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell, ding, you know, hit the all so you're notified of everything I do. And y'all, as always, have a blessed one, and I'll catch y'all next time.